Misty here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have a brand new project introduction. This is at the hop. And as you can probably guess by the thumbnail, this is all about the 50s and the 60s. Listen, I don't know if you believe in reincarnation or not, but I feel like I was either Anne Boleyn in Tudor time and or a teenager's a teenager in the 50s and the 60s. The mid 50s, early 60s music is my absolute favorite of all time. Um, it's just so fun. It's the birth of rock and roll. It's the beginning of Motown. We have all of these wonderful voices that we heard, amazing songwriters, just, just so much pop culture yumminess. And that's why I created this project. So, every era in American history or world history really has their own issues with politics and human rights, etc. So, I know the 50s and 60s weren't great for a lot of folks. I mean, the civil rights era, etc. But in this project, we're just focusing on pop culture. So, the music, the fashion, and the hair of that era. There are 50 prompts. Thanks to Jessica for pointing out that she was like, why didn't you just go ahead and do 50 prompts? I was like, I thought I did. <laughs> so kudos to her. And the last prompt is from her. So I'll be sure to credit her at the end. And um, if you are doing this as well, please do. So this is a fantastic ladies club, but you're not going to have to be a fantastic lady to join. I've had several people reach out and go, hey, I'm not on Facebook. Can I do this? I have created a Google Sheet that is listed in the description box down below that has all 50 prompts set out for you. We're starting today, November 25th, which just happens to be Black Friday in the US, or actually it may be Black Friday everywhere. But yesterday was Thanksgiving in the US. I'm actually filming this on Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, Rob and I aren't doing anything. My brother is at his first NFL game. He went to the Cowboys game with his future in-laws and um, his mother-in-law has Boone, so it's just Rob and I, so he's having some pizza and watching football, and I'm like, I need to film 492 videos, so that's what we're doing today. So, for this project, there are 50 prompts. You can start with as many as you want, or as little as you want. You can set your own goals. You guys know, if you follow any of my projects, I like to keep them very, very, very open-ended. I'm bringing in all 50 products, and that's because there are probably half a dozen that I would like to get started on because I need them in my routine. So I'm going to read you the prompt. I'm going to then show you the product and tell you my goal. You'll see me looking down because that's where the computer is. You'll see me putting things in this white basket because that's the only basket I actually have available. So yeah. So. I will do my best not to sing. Let's just be honest, right? <laughs> Let's just be honest. It's gonna be really hard for me not to sing. So I apologize now if I sing or whistle a tune. I probably won't have time to do it for this video, but maybe by the next update, I will have time to create a playlist for you. I realized that I didn't put um, artist names with all of the songs and I will also try to redo I'll try to do that as well and reference them um, when I know uh, what they are some of them I'm like right <laughs> ones I'm like I don't remember okay so let's get started the first one is saddle shoes and that is something with black and white packaging I am bringing in this this is the Cosrx black snail collagen eye cream um, I had been working on this and then I just kind of stopped probably because it wasn't in a project. So we are starting right there. My goal is to finish this. This will probably take the entirety of the project because you need such a small, such a small amount that it's going to take me four flipping ever. So um, I have it on a toothpaste squeezer. That's why it looks a little weird. But yeah, so we're going to track progress by the by that. And that is my first product. Poodle skirt, a product that po that's popular in the community or social media. And I am bringing in this. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Yeah. So I, when I picked up my um, palette, 
I picked up a couple of samples and this was one of them because everybody goes on about how good this is. So I'll be interested to try it. This is brand new. I don't think I've worn it yet. Have I worn this yet? No, I don't think I've worn it yet. So yeah, anyway, my goal is going to be to finish that. So the next prompt is La Bama and I put a Latinx own brand. The X is to attribute for people who are non-binary. And I am going to bring in this. This is my Glamlight wine palette and I'm going to be working on Malbec, Malbloc. I don't know you guys, I don't drink wine. It's this purple right here. And my goal for that is going to be to hit pan. Um, I, I think I've only swatched it. And I am not swatching in this video. This video is already going to be an hour long. So yeah, anyway, it's not on my eyes today, which it could have been, but it's not. So goal for that one is to hit pan. Rock around the clock. One, two, see? One, two. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> so rock around the clock, something you use both morning and night. I'm bringing in this. This is the next Bear With Me spray. It looks like I've used some of it, but this is brand new. I'm currently working on one in Women Who Rock. So once that one's done, this one will get its day to shine. Next, A Teenager in Love. I believe that's Dion. Yeah, I think so. Um, a product you used or loved in your teens. Okay, so here's the thing. I didn't wear makeup when I was a kid. Um, I think I wore makeup maybe three times, sixth grade through 12th grade. But what I did wear was perfume. It started with Ginate. I think we all in the 80s and 90s probably started with that. And then I got Debbie Gibson Electric Youth. And then I wore whatever my mother had. And my mother had an affinity for very expensive perfumes. So I'm bringing in a perfume. This is my Dossier Woody Sage. This is their um, Wood Sage and Sea Salt dupe, the Jo Malone dupe. And my goal is going to be to finish it. You can see where it is right here. So I am so glad that I did not invest in a ton of these. Because while it smells good, I've, I don't get any smell from it after about two hours and that's like putting my nose into my pulse point where I put it so I don't know that I would invest in these again um, I'm glad I got to try it and you know maybe one day I'll be able to afford the real Jo Malone I don't know but anyway this is in to finish next we have a splish a splash that is Bobby Dern and I am bringing uh, so it's a bath product and I'm bringing in this. This is the Bath and Body Works Chamomile and Bergamot Sleep Moisturizing, Moisturizing Body Wash. This smells delicious. I mean, seriously, you, I just, bergamot. If there's bergamot, I almost always love it. So I'm happy with that one for sure. My Eyes Adored You, which is Frankie Valley. Um, a product you use on your eyes. I'm bringing in this. This is a brand new mat, <laughs> brand new MAC. Painterly Paint Pot. This is going to be in to a finish. Um, this will probably start in January. I have just a little bit left of that last one. So, yes. Next, at the hop, an item you'd use for a night out. I'm going to bring in this. This is a NYX um, lingerie, lip lingerie. This is a couple years old, but it's a glittery lippy gloss and I definitely would only I wouldn't wear this like to the grocery store well I, I let's be honest I probably would <laughs> but I for sure would want something glittery or fun if I was going to go out which I haven't been out in eons but yeah that's Domino blueberry heel a blue item bringing in this this is a brand new shop miss a green tea and vitamin e cleansing balm love go will be the finish Return to Cinder, Elvis, Elvis, uh, a product you would return or declutter, and that's going to be these. These are the Revolution Foundation Drops. Um, they haven't settled. They were on their side. They're basically brand new. Um, I would return these because I, these came out when the Cover of X Foundation Drops came out, and I just, eh, I don't know. I prefer fuller coverage, so putting this in a moisturizer or something doesn't really do it for me. But I'm going to put these in. Did I put finish? I'm pretty sure I put finish. Yeah, I did. Finish. So we're going to see if we can get those finished. We'll see. <laughs> bye bye love. Give me product or product that's almost gone. That is the Everly Brothers. I am bringing in these. These are the three 
um, Smashbox primers that I had in um, the advent calendar project pan. I'm not going to get to them in that project, so they're going to come into this one. Next, Tutti Frutti, real little Richard. Um, something fruit themed or in fruit package or in <laughs> fruit themed scent packaging, etc. I'm bringing in this. This is my Butterfly Bliss Lick Me All Over. I believe this is their melon scent. I will have to find the notes. It's definitely fruity. There's a hint. There's a hint of like a powdery floral or something, but my goal is going to be to finish these. Next, the twist. Chubby Checker, a product that twists up. I am bringing in this. This is the Westman Atelier blush, cream blush. Um, I got this through Influencer. This is what we get. And I, my goal is going to be to finish this. This is a beautiful blush. Is it worth $80? No. <laughs> no. But it's pretty. I can't wait to get some use out of it. And I'd like to use it up before it goes away. Mr. Sandman, an item you use before bed. I'm bringing in this. So this is currently in my I Heart the 90s project pan, but I'm gonna, I'm doing all of my finales in December. So this will roll into this project with the goal to finish it. So this is in to finish. Next, tears on my pillow. Um, I, a, a waterproof or cryproof item, I'm gonna bring in this. This is a cargo, I don't know if this is charcoal or black. Misty, on oh, it's black. Um, eyeliner pencil, my goal is gonna be to finish this. I don't know how we'll track it, I'll figure it out, but that is gonna be to finish. American Bandstand is an anti-aging product and the reason why, I don't know if you know why this prompt fits. American Bandstand was hosted by Dick Clark and he was basically called the forever teenager because it looked like, it seriously looked like he never aged. Like he looked the exact same until he passed away. Basically, so an anti-aging product, I'm bringing in this. This is the Ola Henriksen Transform Invigorating Night Transformation Gel. I don't think they, wait. This is an exfoliator. That's fine, I'll just have to wait to start that one until that one's done. I'm glad I read that. Anyway, <laughs> my goal is gonna be to finish this, but it's gonna be, it's gonna take a minute before he comes in. The Pompadour, a hair care product. I'm actually bringing in this. It's for your scalp, but it's made by a hair company. This is the Not, Not Your Mother Scalp Scrub. This is my favorite scalp scrub ever. Um, I actually just bought two from Ulta during their buy one, get one free Black Friday mess. Mess. I tried, so they were supposed to start at eight o'clock central time on a Saturday. Their app, in their website was broken for 48 hours. And I was like, oh my word. I was like, I just want my hair stuff, okay? Anyway, my goal is to finish this. This is one of the reasons why I'm bringing everything in is because I need it. Next, the Bouffant, an oversized product or product that creates volume. I'm bringing in this. This is the Living Proof Dry Volume Blast. I'll weigh this. Probably got about, I don't know, this much less. I actually really like that. <laughs> I wish I didn't. I'm about to do. TV dinner, a convenience product. I'm going to bring in this. This is the Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy Bodybuilding Dry Shampoo. I feel like dry shampoo is definitely a convenience item because you can just get up and spray it in your hair and go on about your life. I actually use it for the most part before I go to bed at night. That way it absorbs overnight. Anyway, this is end to finish. Misty, stop giving so many explanations or we're going to be here forever. Hula hoop. Something in round packaging. I'm bringing in this. So this is currently in Partners in Cream. As you know, Partners in Cream ends in December. So this is the Wet n Wild Highlighter Stick. This, I can't make a new mark. So it's basically, it's basically still where it's been, I don't know, for three or four months. My goal is going to be to finish these. So I really love these sticks. If you see them, they're still for sale. I see them everywhere. Um, but it's actually really good. The blushes and the bronzer are good as well. And the concealer even. So yeah. Barbie, a pink item, packaging, etc. I'm going to bring in this. This is Escape to Paradise by Bath Bubby. It's a whipped bath soap. Um, number one, it's pink, but number two, this is one of my older ones. I've had it over a year. Mmm, smells good. So I need to um, 
get this done. If you're watching this, I know Bath Bevy is having a Black Friday sale. I don't know how much they're having off or anything like that, but I highly recommend these, and um, they're really good. Love them, love them, love them. Mickey Mouse Club, an item your a friend sent you or an item a friend is painting. I'm going to bring in this. Jessica sent me this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Flower Child. My goal is going to be the... What did I put on this? Hit me. <laughs> it's like, what did I put on this one? So it's it's a little bit of like a cool tone gold, which... Oh, let me see. I'm not going to swatch, but also Misty, swatch it. It's, it's very much a cool tone kind of goldy bronze color. So I, I think I'll enjoy it. I have, have I worn this yet? I think I have. I don't, you guys, my memory sucks. Anyway, we're going to use it and try to hit paint. Um, Cinderella. Cinderella is my absolute most favorite Disney movie ever in my life. I love Cinderella. I love it. So a glittery or sparkly item. I'm going to bring in this. Oh, if I can get it open. This is a um, pastel multi-chrome from Chaos. This is in the shade Fairy Godmother. And my goal is going to be to use this 23 times. It's going with its friend in there. I love Lu Lucy job switching. So this is the famous one where they're eating the chocolate. And that's why uh, I picked an item that smells like chocolate or candy. I'm going to bring in this. This is my Too Faced Natural Face Palette. My goal is going to be to use this 23 times. So I just have to dip into it 23 different times. Um, so yeah. Oh, it smells like chocolate. <laughs> and I am not a chocolate lover except asterisk um, the new chocolate paydays and a whatchamacallit. I don't know why I've been on a whatchamacallit kick, but a girl been on a whatchamacallit kick. Let me tell you. Treasure Island, an item that is a treasure in your collection. It can be your favorite item or one that you want to hoard and not use. I'm bringing in this. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. This is the one in medium deep. I like this one a lot. I like it a lot. Let's bring it open. Looks like this. I've used it once. So my goal for this one is also 23 times. So you're gonna find that's like the powder products and stuff. I'm basically doing usage goals um, rather than trying to hit pan, especially these. I know those will take for flipping ever in my life. Sleeping Beauty, a lip product. I'm gonna bring in this. This is the Essence Shine 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 Lip Gloss in clear. My goal is gonna to be to vanity. Peter Pan, an item in childlike or child themed packaging. I'm bringing in this. This was also in it. This was in Alice in Wonderpan, I think. That with a very similar, <laughs> very similar prompt. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush and Hope. I have been working on this all flipping year. I have no idea where we are. I will be weighing this with, and my goal is going to be to finish it. Next, Rebel Without a Cause, a product that Beauty Community loved, but you didn't. I'm bringing in a foundation, and that's this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible, number 420. I This is actually a new bottle. <laughs> so I bought the wrong shade, and it was like way, way, way too light. So I sent that off to Project Beauty Share, picked up a new one, and I am interested to see if I still don't like it because I remember not liking it, but I was like, oh, I want to wear it again, but I didn't want to mix it with something to darken it up. So I got a better color. So I think I'm going to try to use this maybe five to 10 times to see if I like it. If I like it, then we'll keep it in the finish. And if I don't, I'll pass it along to Project Beauty Share. I don't want to get too much use out of it if it's something that I'm going to end up donating. So that is for James Dean's Rebel Without a Cause. Misty by Johnny Mathis, a bold lip or eyeshadow. I'm gonna bring in this. By the way, Misty by Johnny Mathis is not what I'm named for. I am named for that psychotic play Misty for me movie by Clint Eastwood where he's literally stalked. <laughs> he's a DJ and he's literally stalked. So for this one, I'm bringing in the shade Concord Grape. It's this really kind of shifty purpley shade. It's really pretty pretty and my goal is going to be hit pan. Speaking of really pretty shades and glam light, I haven't bought makeup since I bought that Charlotte Tilbury palette. But let me tell you, 
when I'm like, Ugh, all this nostalgia, blah, 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 blah. And then one of my freaking favorite companies comes out with my absolute favorite cartoon character of all time, Strawberry Shortcake. You fat girl gonna get that one. Plus it's a me palette. <laughs> I think Laura is the one that commented on my Instagram post. She's like, I saw that and immediately thought of you. It's a me palette. I cannot wait to get it. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it tomorrow or if I'm gonna wait for it to go on sale because I just, ugh, I've been looking for Strawberry Shortcake merchandise, like shirts and stuff for at least a year. And it's all Hot Topic's fault. They, or it's Facebook's fault. They showed me a sweater um, last year that was pink with little oh, strawberries all over it. And I was like, I want it. Of course it didn't come in my size. And then that led me down the strawberry shortcake rabbit hole. You guys know, I've mentioned before, sometimes fake strawberry smells, fake strawberry scents smell like the strawberry shortcake that has the kisses. I, I, I just can't even, I just cannot even. Okay, 16 Candles, a product you wish you had as a teen. I'm bringing in a lipstick. So this is the ColourPop Glowing Lip. So when I wore makeup, those few times I wore makeup, my mom had a blush. She was Native American, or she is Native American, I should say. She and I don't talk anymore. That's a story for a different day. But she had beautiful, beautiful skin. My grandmother, beautiful, just beautiful bronzed, like Native American skin. And so neither one of them really wore makeup, but my mom had some makeup. And one thing she had was a Cheekers blush from CoverGirl. And I would literally put that on as my eyeshadow, my blush, and then rub it on my lips because she didn't wear lipsticks. So I am bringing in this one from ColourPop. This one are glowing lips with the gold to finish. Yeah. Cute. So anyway, yeah. that's a story for a different day. Next. Motown, a black owned beauty brand. So I am bringing in this Juvia's Place eyeliner. I believe this is in black. It's a kind of brush tip. As a reminder, I am no longer supporting the brand. However, I still have tons of stuff from them that I wanna get through. So not supporting, just using up what I've got and my goal is gonna be to finish that. Unforgettable. A favorite product in your collection, I am bringing in a foundation. <laughs> this is the XX Revolution Foundation. Some of you are probably laughing because I don't, is this in Child of the 80s? I don't remember. It's like I had a 10 new skull and I just couldn't get it done. But as you guys know, I was painting a ton of foundations. I'm still going to be painting a ton of foundations. But anyway, my goal is to finish this. I love, like Revolution, I feel like Revolution does base products really well. I've loved all of them that I've tried for the most part. So yeah, that's in the finish. Next, Maybelline by Chuck Berry. Maybelline. A product from a Maybelline or a drugstore product. I am bringing in a Maybelline product. I'm gonna bring in the lipstick in the shade Nearly There. Nearly There? I thought it was Barely There. No, it's Nearly There. This is the shade number 205. It is a really pretty, um, but it's got some shine to it. I don't know if you guys can see it. This was an Amazon purchase. So my goal is gonna to be to finish this one up. It's brand new, but we're going to get it done. we going to... That's one of those that is <clears throat> the one, like, I can just put on, put it on while I'm sitting on the couch and use it as, like, a lip balm because there's not much color to it at all. So, yeah. The Banana Boat Song. Deo. Me said Deo. A product in your morning routine. I'm bringing in this. This is the Elf Holy Hydration. Brand new. Spinkin' new. And yeah, my goal is gonna be to finish that. The Great Pretender. This is not the Pretender by the Foo Fighters, by the way. <laughs> an item in your collection that doesn't do its job well. I am bringing in an eyebrow pencil. This is the one from JCat. It, it's basically brand new, I think. Um, I used it a few times. It's just, it's really hard to get any payoff, color payoff, so. The goal is going to be to finish this. I don't know that I'll mark this. We'll see. Um, or it'll just be gone when it's gone. Ella Fitzgerald, though these foolish things, an item you're foolish for purchasing. <laughs> I picked up a loose pigment from With Love. And it is a multi-chrome pigment. And why? I don't know. 
number one, it's a it's a dark pigment, which you guys know I don't really love. And it's loose. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. So my goal for this is 10 times, 10 uses. Yeah. So we'll see. This may end up being something I use like to watercolor with. I don't know if you guys watch Gritho's, um, I think it's Uli, I-U-L-I-E. They make multi-chrome watercolors and every time I see one, I'm like, oh, I want that a lot. And then I'm like, Missy, you only want that because it looks like a, an eyeshadow. <laughs> I know I hate to I like I don't hate to watercolor. I watercolor some on my channel, but not very often. Speaking of, I have a ton of Christmas cards in my Etsy shop if you're interested. Next, Eartha Kit Santa Baby. An item you got as a gift or the most expensive item in your collection. Haley and I exchanged some eyeshadow and she asked if I tried menagerie and I said no. And she asked if she could send me Will Song and I said yes, please. So my goal for this is going to be no pan left behind originally. Um, if I like it and feel like I want to roll it in for to hit pan in something, um, I will. I know these take forever. I mean, I watched Alex try to hit a pan in one and I think it took her a long time and she wears makeup way more than I do. So we will have to see. Aluminum Christmas tree. Something metallic or foiled. I'm gonna bring in this. This is a Makeup Revolution Unic, I think it's Unicorn Foil in the shade Rebound. These are so pretty. This is another one of those products that damn you Revolution for making something nice and then completely discontinuing it. I mean, number one, I've probably had this four years. It's still creamy. It's still beautiful. It's just, they're just so lovely. You guys probably watched me, or if you've been with me, I panned the actual, well, maybe they're not unicorn. I panned the, the color unicorn last year, year before last. I don't remember, but anywho, that is in to hit paint. No, 23 uses. I was like, it won't take me very long to hit paint. <laughs> McDonald's, an item that you use up or go through quickly. I'm going to bring in this. This is my e.l.f. Um, Holy Hydration Eye Cream. I go through eye creams pretty regular. What the? What the? Why does that have liquid? <laughs> Why is it all over my laptop? God dang it, e.l.f. Well, this is in for now. We'll see. We'll see how it does on my face. I may test it on my cheek or something to see if it's still good. It doesn't smell off. But yeah, anyway, this is for McDonald's, something that I'll go through quickly. Next, we have a 1955 Bel Air. Oh, if it's white and aqua, love it. Um, I am bringing, oh, so that's a product you consider a classic or the oldest product in your collection. I'm going to bring in this. This is the I Heart This Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop. This is probably one of the oldest Super Shocks in my collection. Um, I did work on this last year, I think, in color pan. It's a, oh, Misty, I'm not going to swatch. Here I am swatching again. Anyway, I think I can mix this with a seismic, and um, I'm going to try to finish this. We'll, we'll see how we do. Yeah, finish. Yep, finish. So we'll see what happens. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Next. 1955 Lincoln Continental, a product in it for the long haul. That's going to be this. This is my um, Makeup Revolution corrector. My goal for my other project was to hit pan. I did. It's going to be hard to see. But my goal for this one is going to be to finish. So um, I use this every time I do my makeup. We'll see how far I get. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But I have a year. This goes through the November 24th next year, if I forgot to say it. But yeah, I... I mentioned before, I love this. I think it's beautiful on the skin. So this is staying in. Ooh, a poet and I didn't know it. Where are we next? Gumby. A uh, putty or cream product. I'm gonna bring um, my putty bronzer contour into this. Um, I was trying to hit pan on this in I Heart the 90s and I just didn't make it. So we'll bring this in here. What did I set for this goal? Finish. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is why I shouldn't wait till the day before I need to film to pick all my products because clearly yesterday's me was way more optimistic than today's me is feeling, so we'll see. Next, Yogi Bear, an item that's been a bear or difficult to use or finish, and that's this. This is the Sephora liquid 
or cream it's a liquid blush it's really really pretty but I've worked on this for years <laughs> like literal years and I haven't been able to finish it I still have a ton left um, I put finish with a question mark I'm gonna use this until it goes off and if that means I finish it, I finish it. If that means it has to get decluttered, it has to get decluttered. This is probably literally five years old at this point. So we'll, we'll just see how far we get. We'll just see how far we get. Next, A-Line Dresses, a product that starts with the letter A. I'm going to be bringing in this. This is the Isai, you baby. Palette from ColourPop. My goal is 10 uses. Now, I will say that they almost got me with their Muppet collection, especially because... Um, I love Pepe. He's my favorite, the shrimp. Oh my god, he's so funny. But apparently there are some pressed glitters in it, and I'm kind of moving away from pressed glitters. Um, I know, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, especially with the next one, but I don't know. I'm just like, they're messy. <laughs> they take a lot of effort. So yeah, but anyway, the next one is Marilyn Monroe, a product that makes you feel glamorous. I'm bringing in this. This is the Fanny Glitter in Nebula really really beautiful it's a lilac but it goes berry if you put it on a berry tone it goes purple if you put it on purple tone it'll stay lilac if you put it on lilac there's enough difference in the colors of the glitter particles um, to really to really have it stand out on whatever eye look you put it on I don't know what my goal is for this um, I left it blank I might just use it until it dries up and then declutter it this is a couple of years old now so I have a feeling that it might end up um, like going off or something. I have pan, it's a, impossible to see it, but I hit pan in this in Beauty A to Z. So that is in to do something with, I don't know yet. <laughs> Dorothy Dandridge, I wanna say, and someone may have to correct me if I'm wrong, that she is either the first African-American female to be nominated for an Oscar or she was the first one to win it. I think Halle Berry was the first one to win it. So you guys will have to correct me if I'm wrong. Listen, my, I have the memory of a gnat and it's been even worse since I've been going through all this stuff. So anyway, an award-winning item or one that should be, I'm bringing in this. You guys have heard me go on and on and on about these Shop Miss A blushes. This is the one in Cupid. The Cupid Shuffle, the Cupid Cupid Shuffle. My goal is gonna be to finish it. And that takes me between 10 and 15 uses. So, <sighs> yeah. Next, Ruby D, a red item. This is actually in my cart to get a new one. Grab <laughs> me, no, like no. I'm bringing in my margarita palette and I'm gonna bring in the shade a strawberry. This is a really pretty red that is more of a pink tone red. So um, yeah, my, it does have some use. My goal is gonna be to hit pan in that. Next, Ricky Nelson. His song, A Traveling Man, a travel-friendly item or product that you travel wish with, I brought in this. This is my Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow. Um, you may know, no, I put the Vanity Nebula for 23 uses. I am a total bird. Scroll, Misty, scroll. <laughs> I am currently working on the bronzer, and I wanna say throw about 30. Um, so my goal is just gonna be 23 uses. So that can be a combination of any of the two. I'm not counting those uses with the bronzer because it's in a different product project. So in the combination of these two will be 23 uses. The next one is also 23 uses and I, I may have to change that. So this um, is for Calendar Girl, an item that is nearing or is expired in your collection. Calendar Girl is written by Neil Sadaka, who is one of my favorite artists, but he's also, he and Carol King are responsible for a lot of the hits in the early 60s. And I love Carol King too. Anyway, tapestry, so good. Okay, Missy, shut up. <laughs> this, is the, this is the J-Cat Prime and Glow uh, Face Illuminator. I think this is pink, like iridescent pink. So I have 23 uses on there. I have, I'm gonna reserve the right to make that not be so much because, <laughs> see that it's like ir it's like a pink iridescence and I'm like I mean a face illuminator is like is it supposed to be like a primer or is it supposed to be it says prime and glow so it's supposed to be a primer but I'm like I mean look how pink it is so I I don't know I don't know we'll see 
we'll see. We'll have to see about that one. And last but not least, this is one credited to Jessica, Rory Orbison. Orbison? <laughs> I can never pronounce his name right. And I don't really care for him. I know, I know, I know. Sacrilege. Sacrilege. Roy Orbison, Only the Lonely, a product that you only have one of in your collection. I'm bringing in this. This is the NYX um, eyeliner in white. I don't know what, I don't know what color it is actually, but my goal is going to be to finish it. This is the only white eyeliner that I have in my collection. The other white thing I have is the Milk um, eyeshadow stick. So that's it. How long have I been filming? 35 minutes. Good job, Misty. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, I won't have time to do a playlist today, but hopefully over the next couple of weeks, I'll get a playlist listed down below. Down below, you will find the sign-up sheet. If you are a Fantastic Ladies member, feel free. Um, there will be also a master list of participants. You can also find the um, hashtag at, at the hop over here, over on Instagram. If you do do this, please make sure you tag me um, on um on Instagram, I'm Misty Pans, and I think here I'm just at Misty. I don't know how that will work for you, but I don't know. Or you can just be like, hey, Misty, <laughs> I did an intro for this video or project. Can you come check it out? And I'll be like, yeah, I will. So you have plenty of time to jump on. Again, bring in all 50 at once if you want to. Bring in two, three, four, five at a time. It's completely up to you. No stress. Painting should be fun. And that is my motto, and that's what I'm sticking with. So, yeah. But thank you, friends, so much for joining me. I don't know when my next video will be. Um, it'll probably be my empties for October and November. And then I will, like I said, I'm going to start doing finales at some point in December for, um, for projects that I'm closing up for the year. <clears throat> I won't be updating um, any like Throwback 30, uh, Paranormal Pantivity, or Women Who Rock. Those are the three that I know are coming up um, because I haven't been wearing makeup at all. Like this is the first time I've worn makeup since the last video so <laughs> with me wearing makeup. So there hasn't been any makeup wearing. Um, I did finally get to have my MRIs. I will share more about that and what's new um, on my At Home With Missy channel. I'll kind of clue you guys in there. Long story short, one thing that I am going to be that is wrong explains the nerve pain. It's like, well, yep, that's what's going on. But it looks like that I've also developed um, a form of scoliosis, which is like, yay, good times. <laughs> so, <laughs> anywho, um, I'm going to do my best to leave that off this channel. This channel is supposed to be an escape for me, and I would like it to be that. So, yeah, anywho. I am currently filming of how I get ready to pan and I will hopefully have that done in the next couple of days. That might actually be the next video you see. Um, I have been filming the entire process of how I pick the products, prompts, everything for this particular project. I think I mentioned I would do that um, earlier, in, earlier in the fall. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate you. If you don't allow yourself to get wrapped up in the stress that is the holiday season, um, I know that a lot of companies make it seem like you have to have this and you have to buy that and you don't have to. Um, if you're doing a no buy or low buy, I my fingers are crossed for you that you can, you know, and I did a really good job. Like I went through my inventory and was like, okay, what do I need? And really the only thing I needed was some eye creams and some hair stuff. And that's literally all I've bought. And like I said, the only thing that has tempted me is the strawberry shortcake collection. And I may wait for it to go on sale because I'm pretty sure it will. I'm pretty sure it will at some point. Anywho, all right, guys, I love your faces. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Don't forget to follow me over at Instagram. As I mentioned, there's a link to my Etsy shop if you're interested in a homemade Christmas card. I have, I think, over 600 over there. So, um, yeah, go check it out. Anyway, love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.